Number 10. Coyote Attacks A coyote attacked a six-year-old boy in Chicago in early 2020. The animals are afraid of humans and run at first instance when they come in contact. However, there were two coyote bites in January that caused animal control to take action. They took the animal to a local wildlife rehabilitation center after giving it a chase for a while. The boy was bitten several times and ended up being hospitalized. The animal was not aggressive until he was shot with a BB gun, and then he began exhibiting violent behavior. The boy was stable when he was admitted and was soon released. On the other hand, the coyote received treatment for its gun wounds. Number 9. Alligator Attack While swimming in a lake in Brevard County, Nicole Tillman was injured by an alligator. She was out on a holiday swim in May 2019. The 26-year-old woman was attacked by an 8-foot, 6-inch long alligator while enjoying a Saturday morning swim in the Key Lake Wilderness Park in Cocoa. An eyewitness said they were all chest to waist deep in water when suddenly, the woman started screaming. At first, they thought she was joking, but they pulled her out to discover that her thigh and side were open. She was whisked away before they saw the alligator pop its head out. She was flown to a hospital in Melbourne for treatment. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission said that the injuries were not life-threatening, but they did not specify what they were. They classified her as a trauma alert, but not a seriously injured visitor. The park got an alligator trapper to remove it from the area, yet there were still concerns about what could have happened if it were a child in the water when it happened. Number 8. Arizona Animal Sanctuary Director Attack A zookeeper, Jonathan Kraft, was moving an 11-year-old tiger to a safer area during a heavy rainstorm when the animal attacked him. Jonathan's concern for the large cats during the downpour might have undermined a few safety protocols leading to the incident. He suffered two broken bones and multiple wounds. Kraft worked as an illusionist on the Las Vegas Strip with two tigers he trained himself. Therefore, he is not new to wild animals or keeping them safe. The tiger jumped on him and bit him when he opened the door in an unusual change in behavior. The animal sanctuary decided not to put down the animal, since it has always been docile. This event had multiple elements. The rain, lack of protocol, and an unfamiliar person in its territory. The sanctuary, established in 1995, hosts over 150 exotic wild animals. He opened the shelter for animals who retired from the stage. Number 7. South Africa Leopard Attack A South African game park was hit with bad news in June 2019 when a leopard attacked a toddler. The two-year-old boy was the child of a staff member of Kruger National Park. They lived on the property. The leopard entered the staff quarters and attacked the toddler. When family members intervened and took him to the hospital, it was too late. The park said that such incidents are rare, but also tragic when they occur. The spokesperson for the park further added that they noticed the animal losing its natural fear of humans. He said that about two weeks before the incident, they realized that the leopard was becoming habituated to humans. They set traps to catch it and monitored it, but it had also developed a sense of avoiding capture. They only finally captured it after it attacked the toddler. Therefore, they put it down to prevent other incidents. Number 6. Dog Attack in Dallas In 2019, police said three pit bulls mauled a 16-year-old in a fenced backyard where the dogs live. The teenager did not live there and he was attacked about 5 a.m. When the police arrived around 5 a.m., he was still being attacked. They shot one and took the others to a shelter. The one who was shot was later euthanized. In addition, one of the dogs bit an officer and he needed treatment. You can tell that the dogs are trained to attack and show no mercy, which is probably suitable for trespassers and people who break in with bad intentions. According to the homeowner, the boy was trespassing. Now the dilemma is trying to understand what the boy needs since he does not have a history of crime or violence. He could have been chased into the compound or he could have been trying to squat. The police started investigating that, but they could not find anything substantial. His identity also remained unidentified. Number 5. Southern Montana Bear Attack 
A grizzly bear attacked a mountain biker at Big Sky, South Montana community. The man was fortunate enough to live to tell his story. He managed to walk to get help and was immediately airlifted to a hospital with injuries sustained on his face and back. Moreover, he was stable in a critical condition when he first got there. According to Morgan Jacobson, the Montana Fish, Wildlife and Park spokesperson, the attack did not appear to be predatory. The bear might have been threatened by how quickly the man turned the corner. His surprise appearance terrified the bear and he responded with an attack. However, he reminded people living in bear areas to carry bear spray and stay in groups. He also advised that avoid those trails if you see animal carcasses in your wildlife tourist home. That is where other animals and people were ambushed. Number 4. Cow Attack A man was trampled by fiercely charging cows. The 72-year-old man in England was a victim on September 2020, the second in two weeks. Malcolm Flynn was out walking with a friend when the charging cows trampled over him near Thurwall Castle in Northumberland. The medical examiners pronounced him dead by the time they arrived on the scene. There were many witnesses to this accident. The passerby on the trip and all those who got help as soon as it happened, including those who entered, diverted the animals, and got the farmer's attention. Four people hurried to the scene as soon as it happened and talked to Flynn's walking counterpart. This kind of death is rare in England. At least 80 deaths by charging cattle have occurred in the last 20 years, but that is an average of four deaths per year. Number 3. Camel Bite If a camel bites you in the face, we might be dealing with some pent-up anger in the animal for a long time. A 54-year-old man was hospitalized in January 2021 in northern Germany after this unsettling incident happened to him. The man, an employee at the Pearlberg Zoo, was cleaning the camel enclosure and tidying up its surroundings as usual when it happened. This had been his job for a long time, and so he expected the camels to be used to his presence and smell. I guess he never got used to their mood swings. The police said he turned around and the animal suddenly bit him in the face. He was rushed to the local hospital for treatment. The injuries sustained were severe, and at the time, the zoo was shut down for the coronavirus lockdown. Number 2. Cheetah Attack In March 2021, a four-year-old cheetah, Isabel, attacked a Columbus Zoo and Aquarium employee in Ohio. The staffer was walking the cheetah for its daily exercise when this happened. In addition, Isabel was harnessed, a protocol the zoo follows duly. Therefore, this comes as a surprise. Further, this was the first time the animal had ever attacked someone. Despite refusing to give details of the injuries, the zoo claims that the animal started calmly. They believe that the scent of giraffes and other hoof stock on the employee might have triggered an instinct in Isabel. According to them, the employee mainly works with other animals. This was one time when he attempted to get close to the cheetah after what he mistook for an invitation to come closer. Number 1. Lion Attack We are constantly speaking of how the lioness is wilder than its male counterpart. Well, here's proof. In January 2022, a lioness killed her zookeeper in Iran while he fed it lunch. The 40-year-old zookeeper, Esfandani, was feeding the lioness meat through the feeding window. Unfortunately, the two lions managed to open the cage, and then the lioness pounced on the victim. Then the predator freed its male partner and attempted to escape. Although it was later captured, it prowled over the zoo for a while. Authorities searched the zoo and only caught it some hours after the incident. These incidents, although rare, are possible when the safety measures are ignored and there are poor emergency services. The police investigated the case and ruled it out as an accident. Which of these attacks is the scariest? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments below.